The CCAS Dataverse has been set up to house the data and documentation and other files from the baseline surveys. This demonstration shows the structure of the CCAS Dataverse, which currently is house hosted at Harvard University. There are other videos available that provide a general introduction to Dataverse and show how to register as a user and create your own Dataverse. The CCAS Dataverse has been set up with a main collection, CCAS Baseline Surveys, and three sub-collections, one each for the Household Baseline, Village Baseline and Organisational Baseline. We will concentrate on the Household Baseline in this demonstration. Within Dataverse, you can group the study files into categories. The categories and the files within the categories will generally be ordered alphabetically. In the CCAS Dataverse, we have numbered the categories and some of the files, so they appear sorted in a more logical way. Thus, we have the core questionnaires, including translated copies of the questionnaires. Added questionnaire models, for example, the livestock module used in Ethiopia. Manuals, include the field worker training manual, data collection manual, etc. Training videos, these are how to complete parts of the questionnaire and data entry system. Some local teams had problems understanding some of the concepts we were using in the survey, such as what we mean by not applicable, so we created a few training videos for use in new sites. The data entry system, this was created in CS Pro, and under this category we have a zip file containing the CS Pro files for the latest version of the system. Also in this category, we have included versions of the system that have been adapted for particular sites. For example, we have a version where the data entry screens are in Spanish for use in Nicaragua and Costa Rica, and another version used in Mozambique, where some of the screen text has been translated into Portuguese. Uh, process reports. This section includes a document describing the recoding and merging process for consolidating livestock and crop codes. Analysis reports. These are the site reports. Then we have the data files, loaded as SPSS files and converted by Dataverse into tabular format, enabling users to run some summaries online. There are two files for the 15 core sites, the household level data and the fertilizer level data. And we also have two files for any additional sites. And we have the syntax files. These are the SPSS syntax files for labeling and for the initial analysis. Then we have the CS Pro data and analysis outputs for core sites from East Africa. The CS Pro data files have restricted access because they contain identification information. Then we have the original data and analysis outputs for West Africa sites. And then similar files for the core sites in South Asia. Original data and analysis outputs for additional sites. Files from any new sites will be added here, as and when they become available. Currently, this section includes data for the extra sites from India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and more recently sites from Mozambique, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua. Then we have the sampling frames, and these are also restricted. In Dataverse, you can restrict the whole study or just individual files. There is an option that allows users to request access. We're no longer using this option, but just allowing access to specified users from the CCAS team. The first category includes a readme file and a data quality summary, which describes the structure of the Dataverse and points out any issues with the data. We include a note in the study description recommending users read these files first before downloading and using the data. The first time anyone downloads a file in a particular session, they are asked to complete a guestbook and agree to the terms and conditions. Dataverse includes an optional guestbook feature. This enables the owners of the Dataverse to keep track of who is downloading files from the studies. The guestbook form appears the first time a user downloads a file or uses the analysis option on a data file. The guestbook automatically takes the user's name, email, institution and position from his or her login details and you can add extra fields to gather additional information. We just have an open text field for users to indicate how they are intending to use the data. The data files were uploaded as SPSS files and during the upload Dataverse converted them into tabular data. This process means the file can be downloaded in a variety of formats. 
SPSS, Stata, R, etc. You can also do some brief analysis online. This is generally, generally just frequency tables and summary statistics, but can be very useful to get an overall feel for the data. For example, we can very quickly look at the distribution of household type and household size. For these discrete variables, we can display a frequency table and a bar chart. For continuous variables such as land values, the system would produce a histogram, normal probability plot and summary statistics. Each study you create should have a set of cataloging information. This is part of the metadata for the study. In Dataverse, the only compulsory elements in the catalogue are the title and the study ID. The study ID is a unique identifier which must be set when the study is created and cannot be changed as it then forms part of the unique citation. The title, along with all other elements in the catalogue, can be edited at later stages, though we would recommend trying to complete as much of this information as possible when you create the study. We have a separate written guide detailing each of the cataloguing elements. Also, we recommend you look at our metadata guide, where we recommend gathering the study catalogue information together at the start of the project, updating it as appropriate during the project. This makes the process of archiving much simpler as you have more complete information when you come to create the Dataverse. As a sort of backup to the Dataverse, we have a local storage device where we keep copies of the files currently on the Dataverse. The folder structure on this local device mimics the structure of the Dataverse. So, for example, under the Household Baseline Survey, we have folders that match the file categories used in the study. This procedure of having both a local archive and a public archive is not strictly necessary, but can be useful, particularly if you have some files that you are not putting in the public domain, but still want or need to keep copies of. A local copy can also be reassuring. We might refer to this as a belt and braces approach. Dataverse is just one example of an archiving system that we have found relatively easy to use. Whatever system you choose for your archive, we would advise you do the following. Start to gather your study cataloguing information together from the start of your project. Think about the structure of your archive. Keep a local archive where the structure matches the structure of the online archive. 